we've had another update, and honestly this one was a fairly innocuous one in terms of major additions to the game, not much of it was really added, but there were a few things so I thought I'd go over them. First of all there is the second construction queue which is only purchasable through black diamonds, you can spend $10 worth to get it permanent, uh, you can get it for 30 days for 50 I don't know why anyone would really want it temporarily when they could just get it permanent, but the options there. I imagine this is mostly a catch-up mechanic for new accounts, for seasoned players, which I think is the bulk of the player base at this point. This will do very little for you just because you get to a point where all you can do is glory levels on buildings and honor banners are so restricted as it is that you can't really just speed build through everything. And if you can, you can just repeatedly do it and keep using the speed ups, right? You don't really need both ticking down at once, so I'm not sure this has much of a place in the game, really. But it's there. It's something to be aware of. After that we have the, the combat ability assessment page. This is a bit weird in my opinion. Like, my account's ranked as a B, which is surprising if it's going up into the S tiers. I don't know if it goes to like SS, like troop appearances do too. But I am wondering what, what an A account is, if mine's a B. Like it ranks my, my gear as 57% in terms of quality, but I have all gold Kingsguard for example. I guess you probably need Glorious up in the high levels to really rank high on that I imagine. It's very harsh and stuff like Dragons which are hard to really get high without huge investment on stuff like the Blessings and I guess level. Because if mine is 30% on level, I have the first two maxed, so it's only the Sapphire Dragon, which I guess is the last 70% of that, which is a bit interesting. So I'm not really sure on the, the scoring criteria. Just clicking the recommended packs will take you to the store. Nothing too crazy. The, the best thing about all this is this button up in the, the top right. So there'll be a claim button here, which refreshes every reset, I assume. And it claims literally everything. Everything you need to click on for awards. So you see there, like, the epidemic event, nobility payment, training grounds, VIP chest, literally everything you need to click. Just click that and it will all pop up. Your VIP store purchases will scroll across the screen. And it's a real time saver if you're limited on time, of course. Past that we have a few new plates, I think they're described as, in the uh, blessing screen. So you've got down here, whatever these are. For most of us this is totally irrelevant, it's just max account rubbish, I haven't even got past this first plate. Maybe in the long long term I'll get down there, but it's irrelevant to me, so I imagine it's irrelevant for 99% of you as well. You have to be spending huge, huge, huge amounts of money to be getting down to these uh, levels down here, I imagine. And then Sabrina was awakened, and she's quite a unique awakening, I'd say. If we find her here. So, the catch of her is she uses her own uh, medals. She can't use generic medals like epics or elites. She ha you have to convert her own medals at a 3 to 1 ratio to have awakening tokens for her, which means to 4 star her, if you already had her gold, you would need 1,800 Sabrina medals, which is basically impossible even if you're like a max account troop training to the moon every Lord of Lords and you get 50 medals uh, every single time in Lord of Lords you're maxing out best effort every single time is that like what once a month twice a month it will take you years even as an account like that so especially for normal players this awakening is beyond irrelevant but even for max accounts like you can start grinding it I guess but 1,800 Sabrina medals is just ridiculous and I, I feel like it was just a bad decision to make it 3 to 1 as a conversion rate. It should be 1 to 1 at worst. Even that is beyond 
realistic, to be honest, let alone free to one. And then we look at her awakening stats, and they're really weird. So it's like, I'm not going to bother spending books into this, but I think there's like Inf Cav Spear Bow Defense, and then Inf Cav Spear Bow Health and Attack 2 with building and research speed. But this, you're never going to run her in PvP, so I don't even know why all these random combat bonuses are even there. Her 4 star ability basically sums up what this commander is. She's basically a glorified uh, premium castle skin passive. So 20k passive army size. If you use a 100% scroll, that will be 40k extra troops and solos. So this will just be max accounts, soloing with more troops, a bit more combat rate on uh, the tavern. And Sabrina basically has no more functionality out of that. So it's a very boring awakening in my opinion because none of us are ever going to see it four starred we're never going to use it in pvp none of us are going to care about the research or building speed uh, bonuses so we can basically just forget she exists really there's nothing exciting about her whatsoever to be honest and then the only other real additions that I can think of I guess we can look at the, the patch notes where is it here uh, they added a blitz feature in elite trials which I assume will be like this alliance trial blitz which is notoriously bad and uses your commanders terribly and especially in elite trials where you wanna get counters on all your commanders I'm not sure who will really be using that or who <laughs> should be recommended to use that I guess if you have a really busy day you're piloting someone's account and you're just trying to get their maintenance done or something because they're out for whatever reason it, you can just get it done with one click which is good they've added a few things like that like I said here the the bar up in the top right which is nice just some quality of life stuff but it won't be efficient doing it that way and the only other thing really is this uh, KBK changes so they removed this Lord of Light's Compassion which is the uh, healing cost reduction one the, the catch with that KBK is it was only the resource costs. It wasn't speed up costs and healing, if I remember correctly. So it, it was just a, a terrible KBK. But the diamond increase one is also terrible, in my opinion. I, I don't like no death KBK personally. I don't like matching into max accounts, you can just solo their whole army whilst you've built a zero castle but I, I do know that that's quite an unpopular opinion but I feel like just going from increased merit to no death back to back to back would probably be what the general player would like most that I might be wrong on that but if they're gonna remove the healing cost reduction one I don't know why the diamond one will stay the, the diamond gathering is just it's just been memed for years, no one likes it, most people don't do it, like if you score well in KVK, so for example, I'm what, second all time in KVK eliminations, every KVK, I, well recently I haven't as much, but normally it's like play for 18-20 hours, and then hibernate on Diamonds Day, whilst everyone else who hasn't contributed as much, uh, fawns over the diamonds and there's so much drama it's it's just such a weird system of doing it in my opinion I'd much rather it be like CCS in terms of rewards where it just hands out the top point scorers stuff based on where they scored it will be so much less drama it will be much more rewarding to those who go all out in it, but maybe that's just me speaking from a biased position, I'm not sure. But healing cost reduction one gone, right, sure. Fine by me, I don't care at all, and I guess that in itself is probably telling enough that there's a fine change, right? But I'm, that's pretty much it in terms of this update. There's nothing else really changed as far as I can see. The, the generic fix some other minor bugs, who knows what that actually consists of. I haven't heard anything game breaking yet at least, but yeah.
there we go. That is the most recent update.